So I felt really inspired to make this video. This is not something that I typically, you know, how I structure videos, but I'm just going to go all in. I'm going to just have that courage to step out of my comfort zone just to create this video. And um, this thought came to me about changing your life and what it takes to change your life. So it's going to be a really short video. I'm just going to give you three tips on what you can do to change your life. I'm going to look at my notes here. So if you see me looking here, I'm just kind of looking at my notes. Um, the biggest thing that I'm coming to realize when it comes to changing your life is that your mind is an asset. Your mind is extremely important. And when I first started out in entrepreneurship and in business and trying to build this life that I desired, I had a huge imagination. I had the biggest imagination. But as time went on, I kind of went downhill and my imagination started to disappear and I, I, I lost that fire. So I've come to realize and come back to that imagination. Just like, think about it. When you were a little kid, you had the biggest imagination. Your, your biggest dreams were becoming, you know, an actor, a football player, whatever it was. And then as we get older and go into high school and go into college, reality hits and those dreams don't exist anymore. That's not how it should be. Your dreams still exist. You're just been programmed by society and schools to get a job and work for 40 years and then retire. But that's not how life should be. I feel like life should be enjoyable and should, it should be fun. You should create memories that you desire. Remember that God gave us free will. Now, I'm not saying to just do whatever you want and forget what God you know, has in store for you because God has a purpose for you and you are called. If someone has not told you that, you are called for a greater purpose. So it starts by taking action and figuring out what it is that you are called to do. And the only way you're going to figure that out is by doing something. And if you don't try something, you're never really going to find out. So... The biggest thing um, that it starts with is, number one, your identity. You have to change your identity. That is the biggest thing um, you could ever learn about, is changing your identity. And um, when you change your identity, you are actually going to change your life and your habits. And you probably heard of this from James Clear. James Clear talks about changing your identity and not your behavior. Most of us will change our behavior, which is the outside of the circle, and we'll go down towards. So you change your behavior down to your identity, and that's called behavior modification. While that may work for a period of time, you're setting yourself up for failure. But if you start from the center of the circle, which is your identity, and you work your way out, you are setting yourself up for success. For example, and I'm, I'm, bear with me, I'm going to try to give you the best example I can. For example, if someone who, there's somebody out there that wants to work out and eat healthy, and right now they're maybe, you know, not working out, they're staying on the couch after work and whatever. Now they want to start being healthy. What they're going to do is they're going to start going to the gym and eating healthy, and they're going to tell themselves, I'm going to go to the gym three times a week and I'm going to eat healthy. That's behavior modification. They didn't really change anything about themselves other than their actions. But let's say, for example, they wanted to really change down to their core. They're going to say, I want to become the kind of person, the type of person who works out three times a week and eats healthy. And then as they start walking and becoming that person, they are changing their identity and how they think of themselves. And then that's where change really begins and transformation occurs. So... My question for you is, who do you want to become? What area in your life right now is not where you want it to be? Now, once you figure that out, think about the, the kind of person, the type of person you want to become in that area and start changing your life. Let me give you an example. For me, for example, I want to change my financial future, my my financial education. I just want to learn about finances and I'm doing all that studying from the Bible, all that good stuff. I want to change my finances. So I am becoming the kind of person 
the type of person who is um, successful, who stewards his money, who does, who honors the Lord with his money, who invests his money, who um, works and um, builds uh, builds a business in which I um, can create positive cash flow and build wealth. So I'm becoming that kind of person and that is how I'm going to take care of my financial future. That's something I've struggled with in the past and so um, that's something I'm going to take care of and I hope that example kind of made sense but I think you get where I'm going. So the question is who do you want to become? Point number two, change what you think of you. Again this is kind of tied in with identity. And I got this from the book, The Power to Change by Craig Groeschel. Amazing book, and I'm not even finished with it, and it's so powerful. Um, Craig says, you do what you do because of what you think of you. Ooh, that's so good, so powerful, right? You do what you do because of what you think of you, and this ties in with your identity. So let me see if I can give you an example. People who date um, and have struggles with their relationships, a lot of them will say, man, I only date players, like women, for example. I only date players, and this is who I am. I can't change it. And then if you look back on their relationships, they've dated people, and they happen to be players, and the relationship never worked. And they continue to do it for a long period of time. You can see their past, and you can see their future, pretty much just by the way they are talking to themselves about the situation. Now... When you change that story, when you change what you think of you, you will change everything else. So instead of thinking that you only date these players and stuff, this is just who I am, I only date these kind of guys, or I only date these kind of girls, whatever it is, start changing that story. Instead, you can think about something more of a spiritual change because that is what it is in the book the power to change you're starting from your identity from a spiritual perspective so you can start saying to yourself i honor god with my relationships and we have a healthy growing relationship that can lead to marriage whatever it is i don't know that probably wasn't the best example but i think you get what i'm saying here tie in your story with what God says about you. Because remember, what you think of you, or what is it, it says, uh, change how you think of you because what you do is how you think of you. What you do is what you think of you. And so once you change that, that story you tell yourself, you're gonna change everything. So again, identity is very, very important. You do what you do because of what you think of you. That's, that's what I was trying to say just a few moments ago. I got it all twisted up. You do what you do because of what you think of you. So change how you think of yourself, whether it's relationships, your finan finances, um, family, whatever it is. Change, what, change how you think of you. Okay, and then the last one is taking faith-filled action. If you look throughout the Bible, you are going to find so many individuals who took action, faith-filled action. God told Abraham to, Abram at the time probably, told him to leave the land that he was in and go to another land. But God didn't say what the land was and where it was. He said to leave. And Abram, Abraham had to leave the land and start going. And I believe he left everything he had or something like that. So he took faithful action. He walked out in faith and he left everything he had. And you can find countless stories in the Old Testament about faith-filled action. And again, and in, in, the, in the New Testament, in Hebrews 11, it recalls all of those faith-filled stories. And it's a beautiful um it's just beautiful how it all comes together. It's taking faith-filled action. If you're not taking action, um, you're leaving so much on the table. And I am guilty of this. And it makes me so mad when I think about it because I struggle to take action uh, in the middle of my journey. I, like I said, I kind of declined a little bit. And then I've realized 
how important action is. Um, doing my part is very important. When I do my part, God will do his. When you do your part, God will do his. So I don't know if this is true. Um, you can look it up. I kind of looked it up on Google. I heard about it. So even if it's not true, the, um, the principle is still true and how you can apply it to your life. So it is said that a rocket will use about 80 to 90% of its fuel for liftoff. What does that tell you? It's very important to have a lot of energy and a lot of power at the beginning. So what this means for you is when you start to change your life, um, in life, in business, whatever, it's gonna take a lot of energy. It's gonna take a lot of resources, a lot of power, um, a lot of strength, and it's gonna be very important that you put a lot of energy into this change. So if you are starting a business, um, you're changing your life financially, um, romantically, whatever it is, put a lot of energy into it. It's gonna take some time to change. Change is not easy, first of all, but use that energy and create some change, and you're gonna have to build up that momentum. So. Um, don't underestimate what you can do in a short period of time. When you put your energy and your focus into this change that you desire, you're going to see results that you did not expect. Okay? So, the last thing that, um, let me see here. Um, the last thing I want to say as well is, is <laughs> life is hard. Um, being broke is hard, getting rich is hard, a successful relationship is hard, um, life is hard, being single is hard. Pick your hard. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna struggle financially, it's gonna be hard no matter what. But if you're gonna choose to be successful and take the route um, that many people don't take, it's gonna be hard. Either way, it's hard, so choose your hard, okay? And, um, the last point I want to take, um, or the last point I want to leave with you, um, this bonus point is number four, um, remove distractions. I cannot tell you how many distractions there are in this world. Um, you obviously know that the biggest one is social media. So if you remove social media, remove Netflix, remove the people who are distracting you from what you're trying to do and what you desire to do, when you start to change your life, people are going to make fun of you. They're going to be like, bro, just get a job. Or why are you doing this? Like, oh, is it all about the money now? They're going to start um, criticizing you because you're making changes in the direction you want to go. And then they're going to pull you back in. People don't like change. And that's okay. If you want to change your life and if you truly desire to change your life, remove the people and the distractions in your life. Now, maybe you need social media. I understand that, I do too. So use it as a tool. So um, become a user, not a consumer. It's very powerful, I heard that and I was like, wow, that's super amazing when you think about that. Become a user of the platform, meaning you're gonna use it as a tool. But becoming a, a consumer, you're just gonna scroll mindlessly wasting so much time, precious time, that you could be doing, or you could be using that time to work on your dream. So um, that's pretty much um, all I have for you today. I kind of hope this helps. I hope it made sense to you. The biggest thing that you should take away from this video is that your um, mind is very, very, very powerful. Your identity shift, changing, um, who you think you are, um, becoming the type of person you want to become, um, taking faith-filled action, and lastly, removing distractions. So if you focus on those four things, I believe that you're going to be successful. And those are the things that I'm implementing right now. So I'm practicing what I preach. And um, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know down in the comments. Um, let's connect on social media or something. Um, follow me if um, you're interested. Uh, I'm going to be kind of creating some content around this, maybe documenting. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. 
The next 30 days though are gonna be radically different, so I'm gonna change my entire life um, and follow these principles. So if you like that, if you wanna do it with me, follow along, document your journey too. Um, but until next time, peace.